Hi everyone, this is Sail from QuickNode and today in this video we will learn how we can send SPL tokens on the Solana network. So without any ado, let's jump into it. First step here would be to install the dependencies. On the first line, we are importing dependencies from the Solana SPL token library and on the second line, we are importing dependencies from Solana Web3.js library. And after that, let's import our secret key. This is our secret key from which we will be sending tokens. And then we are getting key pairs from our secret key. But in reality or in production, you should not paste your secret key in your code. You should always have it in an environment variable or securely stored. And you should also make sure that whenever you are pushing the code to a public repository like GitHub, you should always leave out the environment variable. And after that, we will establish a Solana connection. So for that, we will need a QuickNode RPC or QuickNode Solana DevNet RPC. So let's copy that from QuickNode dashboard, replace it over here. Usually you would also put this Solana RPC in an environment variable. And after that, what we will do is we will declare the destination address and mint address of our token. So this will be our destination address. You should change this based on your needs or based on whom you want to send the tokens to. And this will be our tokens mint address. If you do not know a tokens mint address, what you can do is you can go to explorer.solana dot com and then search for your address this is devnet so switch to devnet and then search for your address this is my address using which i will be sending the tokens or the address which holds the tokens so today i will be sending this token which is usd clone so what you can do is you can simply copy the mint address from here Let's go back. So this is how you can get the mint address. And let's say that we want to send 100 of these tokens. And after that, let's declare a function to get the decimals or the decimal values for this particular token. Because on the blockchain, the numbers are taken in terms of the integer value, but each token has its decimal value. So we need to make sure that we are considering those decimal values as well. So what we are basically doing over here is we are getting the metadata of the token account by using the get parsed account info method. And then we are parsing the account data to get the decimal and then returning the result. And we will later call this function get number decimals to make sure that we are sending the tokens with correct decimal values. Now let's declare a function called send tokens function which will have all the steps to get the associated token account addresses for both my address and the receiver's address. And it will also have the transaction body as well as the send transaction function. So on Solana, every wallet account has associated token accounts for each token for both receiver and sender. So this token USD clone or CUSD will have a associated token account on my address or on my account and similarly it will also have a associated token account on the receiver's side so the tokens will go from my side's associated token account to receiver's associated token account so we will need different functions to get those associated token account addresses over here what we will be doing is first just printing some information like sending the transfer amount which is this and the mint address which is this which is basically the token from key pair which is our address to destination key pair which is receiver's address and then the step one would be to get the associated token accounts address for this particular token on my side so that's what we are doing over here is we are getting the associated token account address or if that does not exist we are creating one but since my account already holds that token it will already have that associated token account address 
so we are just getting that from my side but on the destination side or on the receiver's end they may or may not have that so that's why we are using this function get or create associated token account so similarly we will do that for receiver as well so basically we are calling the get or create associated token account and then we are storing the address in source account and then printing that and similarly we are doing that for the destination account as well then the step three would be to get the decimals for that particular token and we will call the get number decimals function which we declared earlier and then save the number of decimals in number decimals and we will also print that and in step four we will finally send the transaction but first we will construct the transaction body where we will first print that creating and sending transaction create a new variable tx which will be new transaction and then add the following values to the transaction body we will first pass the associated token account addresses of both the sender and the receiver then we will get the public key from the key pair which we declared over here which will be my address or which will be the sender's address then we will send the transfer amount which is the amount of tokens we want to send and also take care of decimals over here and then we'll finally send our transaction but it's always recommended to first get the latest confirmed block hash before sending the transaction to make sure that your rpc or your node is up to the tip and then we will send the transaction with your quick node rpc your transaction body and your key pair which is used to sign the transaction and then in the signature variable we will store the transaction signature and then we'll print a link to the solana explorer with the transaction signature and just after this we will call the send token functions so now that our script is complete let's finally send the transaction to do that let's do ts node index dot ts so based on our steps the information is being printed so this is our associated token account address for CUSD or USD clone and this is receivers associated token account address for that same token and if this does not exist on the receivers side we create that that's why we used this particular function get or create associated token account and then once the transaction is finally sent we'll get this link so let's take a look at this link in the browser so as you can see this is the signature of the transaction the transaction was successful and if you look at the transfer information this was the amount of cusd which was transferred and these were the associated token account addresses so this is how you can transfer SQL tokens on the Solana network. So if you learned anything from this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the QuickNode YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.